I was going to go through my normal video making process for this where I watch a whole stream and cut it down into highlights, but it didn't seem like anyone at WB put more than two hours into this update, so I didn't want to one-up them by too much. Uh, the new Suicide Squad update is nearly identical to the last, uh, except it has uh, much less. Seeing as this is the second half of a season, it was never going to be anything insane, but Wow. Basically, the new update consists of yet another Brainiac boss fight, but this time he uses Superman's powers to attempt to murder the squad. Uh, it has multiple missions where you shoot things a lot, who would have thought, and absolutely zero new story content unless you count another animated Joker monologue or a Super Brainiac monologue. The worst part of this update is the same as the last, which is that you have to do a ton of grinding before you can even get to the reused Superman boss fight. Um, it's not as bad as it was last time. I think it's like 10 missions in compared to like 30, so it cuts it down to like an hour instead of like six. But it, it still is stupid, right? Like, you're making me do the same shit that I've been doing for three months now, I think. And you're making me do it over and over and over again to get to the same fight that I already did three months ago. Like, what the hell? Uh, it did interest me in that fight, though, how Harley kind of made fun of Brainiac's choice of just continuing to take on the Justice League moveset by asking if he was going to dress up as 1D next. Makes me wonder if they're going to uh, subvert our expectations a little bit or if they're just going to straight up have him just become Wonder Woman. One of the new interesting things, I guess, is that there is a new enemy type called the Promotonaut. Um, it, it seems kinda neat. Uh, according to the patch notes, it promotes enemies to their next most powerful level of mutation. Basically, this dude attaches to a small dude, and if you can't kill it in time, it just makes the small dude a bigger dude. Uh, I just wanted to call it the one slightly interesting thing they added, seeing as the last enemy type they added before this was a dude with a shield, and the one before that was also a dude with a shield. Uh, the new watchtower mode seems neat, I guess. Uh, I only played it once, and it does seem more fun than normal missions. Uh, basically, there are enemies in two different dimensions, and you have to, like, swap back and forth from each dimension basically it just it boils down to there are people that you can shoot and people that you can't shoot and you have to flip a switch to shoot the other people and you can't shoot the people you were able to shoot before it's fine um it, it's more innovative than the normal gameplay it's something interesting but also it can be kind of annoying just being like oh well i guess i can't shoot that dude inventory management is still fucking awful there's no way to sort your weapons at any point uh there's no way to view your entire inventory at once uh, which means you have to go character by character and item type by item type they haven't given us more inventory slots since the base game which just sucks they've given us two new characters no one new character two new gear sets that i wish they'd given us a second character geez and then they even make claiming the things that overflow from your inventory impossible you can't claim everything in your mailbox you have to go through and claim one by one and then <laughs> it's such a slow process it lags almost every time you claim a new item so it just takes like an hour to claim every single thing and then you have to go back through your inventory every single character every single slot oh my god it's so bad the multiplayer seems a little better i guess though uh, i played with friends a couple times and um i played with people across the freaking world and it was actually really good Be before I could play with people who were in the same country as me and it would lag really badly. But now it seems like it's doing okay uh, with people that are across the world from me, which is weird. Maybe it's just the game is so dead that, I don't know, that doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. <laughs> there's just not enough new stuff though to keep me interested. I don't even think there's going to be that much add to this game beyond this update. Uh, if you've seen the thing of Mrs. Freeze, I guess it's cool we're going to get another character, but it's not, I don't know, it just doesn't interest me enough, you know? I don't have any reason to keep playing. I just don't. I've already done everything in the game and I've done it again and again and again. And then it's just like, but do it again. But this time he's Superman. I'm like, no, I don't care. I just don't care. I just don't give a fuck. I, re I really hope WB figures their shit out with this game <laughs> or abandons the fuck out of it and makes something better. Um, in the meantime, though, I don't want to talk about this game until they update it again. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.